In Yashitlan, we will see elite women who will have a serious role in the Mayan world. And an example we're looking at is Shield Jaguar and Lady Shulk. Now, in this image, the ruler is Zama Balam II, or Shield Jaguar, and principal wife, Lady Shulk, are depicted. Now, principal wife, meaning that there are other wives, but she would hold a key role within the court. And here, Lady Shulk is piercing her tongue with a thorn-spiked cord in a bloodletting ceremony. This is to celebrate the birth of a son to another wife, as well as a planetary alignment. And the idea of bloodletting is actually really important in Mesoamerica. And yes, this is exactly as painful as you think. She's taking a cord, obviously it would be a narrower cord, uh, or thread that has thorns pushed through it, and she's running it through a hole in her tongue, uh, thus cutting and bleeding. Shield Jaguar, for his part, is holding a torch, which is there to provide illumination for the ceremony. Now, bloodletting, and here we see signs of blood in the basket. This is from uh, Shield Jaguar and Lady Shulk. So here's the cord coming down into the basket, and we see symbols. Uh, this cross hatching is symbol of blood uh, being offered to the gods. They saw this as a living sacrifice, as a way for the living to offer something to the gods. It was also thought to cause hallucinations, and in the ancient world, hallucinations were often a way for one to come in contact with one's gods. As you lose blood, the brain starts doing some very strange things, and that lack of oxygen to the brain will cause those hallucinations. Now, whether the gods are there or not is completely irrelevant. It comes down to someone's belief. And in a broader sense, we would term this shamanism. In other words, uh, in a, an ability to talk to the gods through some form of hallucinatory thing. Sometimes it's going to be medicinal, taking a drug. Sometimes it's going to be physical, something like the sun dance, where the physical exertion over a period of 24 to 48 hours is enough to cause the hallucination. Or sometimes it could be bloodletting, where the pain as well as the release of blood is sufficient to cause this communing with one's gods.